Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial on uh, how to upgrade uh, ArcSight uh, smart connectors. I got uh, recently a question from one of you in the chat uh, asking me how do I do a remote upgrade of the smart connector? Well, in this video we'll see how to do a um, local upgrade and as well how to perform a remote upgrade. Okay, first of all, let me tell you uh, what's, what connectors do I have. Here I have uh, two connectors. Um, this is the 714. It's an ArcSight uh, Windows Unified Connector. And uh, yeah, this uh, version 714, uh, I essentially want to upgrade it to 715. So the local type of upgrade, how to do it? Well, it's fairly simple. You need to, uh, you know, copy paste the executable file on your server. And then after that, you simply run the installation. Uh, while it's loading, this can be done, uh, like I said, as well remotely. So if you're running, if you have uh, in your environment ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager uh, or ArcMC, the management center, uh, you can do a remote upgrade straight and uh, just using the uh, user interfaces. This is the manual, this is the local type of uh, upgrading uh, your connector. Okay. Next, where would you like to install? You need to specify the original directory of your uh, smart connector. So essentially where we have installed our 7.14. This is the whole path, copy paste. Next, now it's going to verify if there are running agents. Indeed in our case there is. So we need to stop the service. Don't forget stopping the service when you're doing a local upgrade. Right click and stop. All right, let's get back. Next. Okay, here it says, uh, would you like to update? Uh, there is an already um, running agent instance, so you would typically say here, yes, continue, and then you simply follow the wizard. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, remote upgrade as well here, like I said, using the ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager console. I will start up the service because in order to do a remote upgrade, the service needs to be running. All right. Status, get status, just to verify. Yes, it's up and running. Brilliant. I'm gonna switch now here. Okay, um, yeah, this is the uh, AUP file. So in order to upgrade the connector, we're using with ArcSight DSM AUP files. You need to copy the AUP file under the following directory, opt ArcSight, okay, um, yeah, S slash opt slash ArcSight slash manager and then under slash updates. This AUP file ne needs to go there. Let me show you, okay, this is where the file is. Uh, We've put it and now we're just going to open the ArcSight DSM console. Let's go and let's right click the connector. Okay, get status. All right. Still up and running. And now what we want to say, we want to just double check if the AUP master uh, uh, option has been enabled. So in order to do this, we go under the installation directory of the smart connector. We navigate under current and then bin. 
we right click bin and we simply say arc site um, run agent setup excuse me so after saying the run agent setup this is the place from where we can reconfigure our smart connector post installing it after installing it um, and yeah from here i'm just going simply to say modify connector parameters this is the host name of my arcsi dsm i'm going to add my username admin and then my password and do you see do you see this aup master destination now during the original installation of the smart connector the aop master destination i haven't really specified uh, that um, it should be it should be true but uh, if you want to perform remote upgrades of smart connectors using arcsi dsm you need to make sure that this aup master destination says yes otherwise the upgrade of your smart connector will uh, not be successful i mean you are not even going to be able to launch the upgrade because uh, you're not going to be able to see essentially the version uh, in the little box from where uh, we're, we're choosing what connector do we want to upgrade. I'm going to show you this in literally a few seconds. Okay. Okay. True. AOP master. Next. Next. This usually takes some time. Right, I'm going to fast forward. Yeah, here it is. Right, let's click on next. And exit. Exit again. Minimize. Let's go under the connector. Right click. Send command. Upgrade. You see? Upgrade. Right, this is the window that I've talked to you about. Uh, you can see what it says, version, and then we have 715. If you don't enable the master uh, AUP, if you don't switch it from false to true, uh, here you have this field blank, empty, essentially. Alright, now we've started the upgrade of our smart connector. So we simply need just to give it some time and uh, be patient. All right, I'm going to do a fast forward again because it takes literally three to five minutes. OK, now the connector is down. And It should come back again in literally one minute. I think I'm gonna fast forward again. Okay, and here we are. Finally, the connector is set running. If it says running, this means that the upgrade was successful. And indeed, here is 715. This means that the smart connector was upgraded successfully. Thanks very much for watching.